And moving now to Ann Arbor, hidden from sight on University of Michigan's North Campus is M-City. It's an autonomous vehicle and technology testing site utilized by academics, startups, and major automakers. I recently got a behind-the-scenes look at the facility that has put Michigan on the map for automated and connected vehicle research. It looks like a real roadway. It looks like a real city. But none of this is real. It's called M-City, and here at the University of Michigan, researchers use the realistic setting to test automated and connected vehicle technologies in a safe, controlled environment. Greg McGuire is M-City's managing director. He holds the virtual key to the facility, which is much busier than meets the eye. And actually, you can't see it, but right now, there is a, what we call a digital twin of M-City that's running in our computing center that's producing all kinds of realistic background drivers, vehicles, pedestrians, bicyclists, all driving around out here as though this were a real uh, city. A public-private partnership, M-City aims to improve safety, efficiency, accessibility, and equity in transportation. It features intersections, stretches of highway, and a roundabout. The, the thing everyone recognizes, you know, the, the, the downtown, but also the second largest M on campus, the, the roundabout, which roundabouts are things that we are now seeing all over Michigan, right? Uh, they're difficult for humans to adapt to as well as machines. And so, you know, it's one of the roadway features that we wanted to, to have in here. The idea, though, of M-City's test facility is that it represents the real world as much as possible. So what makes it different from proving grounds out there where we're testing, you know, the the bones and muscles of cars, of transportation systems, you know, the wheels, the powertrain, all that kind of thing. Here we're trying to test the brains. PhD candidate Maddie Quirk is researching how humans accept driverless vehicle technology. The psychology of autonomous vehicles is actually one of the most important factors. If we don't understand how people might actually feel towards the vehicles or be willing to use the vehicles, then there's no point in actually creating the products of autonomous vehicles or trying to implement them in the community if people don't really trust the actual vehicles themselves. The technology for the country's first wireless charging roadway for electric vehicles that just debuted in Detroit was tested here. The testing facility opened in 2015 with the help of the Michigan Department of Transportation. This is a, a highway gantry just like you would drive underneath all over Michigan. Uh, courtesy of MDOT, they had some surplus ones that they weren't using anymore and helped us build this, uh, this facility. Why bother with these things? Well, you know, if you're using uh, satellite navigation, when you go under a big steel structure, it messes that up. Uh, and so we wanted that kind of realism in here. Um, we've confused a lot of Uber drivers over the years too, I'll tell you. From afar, M-City's downtown area looks like a real city. But up close, it's a 2D facade. So we're on our Liberty Street, which mimics a street in downtown Ann Arbor. Uh, although savvy viewers will recognize Washington Street. Um, but, you know, the backdrop of uh, two-story downtown Michigan, which, uh, you know, we've got all across the state. We wanted a, a realistic place to be able to, to test against. M-City has curbing, sidewalks, drainage systems, and electrical power, like any other city. For researchers, the closer to real life, the better. Even this row of bicycles. Uh, we have an, a limitless supply thanks to our undergraduates here at U of M who inevitably leave bikes everywhere. <laughs> so, this is where the bikes come. This is where some of the bikes, that's right, this is where some of the bikes go to live, live out their days. It wouldn't be a complete tour of M-City without taking a spin in a testing vehicle. We are driving in a pre-programmed loop in M-City's computer-generated reality. Here we go. Or we should. Oh, there's a person crossing the street right now, a virtual person. So we're waiting for them. And then we'll go once they're across the street. Here we go. It's jarring to be in a car that's driving itself. Even more so is how quickly you become accustomed to and even accept the concept. Why is this research important? It's important that the public have a way to trust any individual company's self-driving system is capable of being out there in public with us. Because we're going to have a long period, decades I'd say, uh, where humans and robots are sharing in the driving task. And 
we need to know that these systems are safe and are going to behave reliably and predictably uh, if they're going to be out there with us, with my children, with yours, with all of us.